Hey, you got Trucker Tim here with Double T Sports, and this is a verse in two packs. Today is Thursday, January the 11th. On my way to Smyrna, Tennessee, I ain't got far to go. Gonna make a quick video here and then get going up there on top of the hill where I can eat dinner and then go to bed and sleep. To about 10 in the morning, then head over there. I ain't gonna be there till 12 tomorrow. I ain't got many hours, so my time's kind of running short this week. So, anyway, a simple request. We say a quick prayer. Lord, thank you for all that you do for me. I pray, Lord, that you pour your spiritual protection over me, Lord. Uh, work through my body. Work through my. Bless my heart, bless my mind, and work through my body that everybody understands me. Amen. All right, all right. I was telling my wife there I'd like to, after the first year, like I've been talking to y'all about, and it'll be more wide. I'm going to start a new channel. I'm going to, uh, of course, have faith in it, and then that way I can make some money off of it, but I'm going to start a trucking channel. It'll be a different channel than this. I'm going to have a GoPro where it'll be looking down and kind of at me everywhere I look. It'll go and uh, y'all see some of the driving. Y'all see some of the activity that I do every day. Um, everybody will. And I've seen some of the truckers out here. They got like 410,000 subs and all and get views like that. And I'm like, wow, that's a good way to make some extra money too. So. Um, all right, we got John 21, 17 through 24. If I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? You must follow me. John 21, 22. John is a good book to watch. If you not saved and you do get saved, the first book you should read is John. John, and I think there's another one they say, John and some other. John's good book to read, then don't just start reading from the first, but read John first is a good book. They said to start reading once you're saved. A simple request. Please clean the front room before you go to bed. I said to one of my daughters instantly came the reply, why doesn't she have to do it? Such mild resistance was frequent in our home when our girls were young. My response was always the same. Don't worry about your sisters. I asked you. In John 21, we see this human tendency illustrated among the disciples. Jesus had just restored Peter after he denied him three times. See John 18, 15 through 18. In 25 through 27. Now Jesus said to Peter, follow me. A simple but painful command. Jesus explained that Peter would follow him to the death. Peter barely had time to comprehend Jesus' words before he asked about the disciple behind them. What about him? Jesus replied, if I wanted him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? Then he said, you must follow me. How often we're like Peter. We wonder about the faith journey, journeys of others, and not what God is doing with us. Late in life, late in his life, when the death Jesus foretold in John 21 was much closer, Peter elaborated on Christ's simple command. As obedient children do, um, not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. 1 Peter 1, 14 through 15. That's enough to keep each of us focused on Jesus and not on those around us. How are you tempted to compare your faith? Walk with others. How will you keep your focus on Jesus today? 
Heavenly Father, please continue to conform me into the image of your Son. Yes, he's conforming me to, the, to Jesus. I watched the movie His Only Son last night. He did what Jesus told him, what God told him. Don't, why him? Why do I do this? Why do? Because Jesus told you. God told you, I mean, not you. God. You don't get the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. They're one, but three different per se about it. Um, God told uh, Abraham. Called him something else at the time. Abram. Later on, he called him Abraham, I think. Um, I watched that movie, His Only Son. If you get a minute to watch it, you'll cry toward the end. It's great, man. Great, powerful movie. Uh, it only lasts about an hour and a half or something. An hour and a half, five and 45 minutes. Great movie. But uh, Jesus, God asked him to take his son and sacrifice. Go three-day walk and sacrifice your son. When God tells us to do something, we don't need to say, why? Why not him? Why not him? We need to have faith in God. Faith in God, which is sin without believing. I mean, which is believing without seeing. <laughs> faith, believing without seeing. Okay? We need to do it and not complain about what he's asking us to do. He's conforming us to his son Jesus. We have royal blood running through our body. If God asked you to do something, do it. I'm asking God now, over and over, and sometimes I don't know when to get when I get an answer. I really don't. Maybe it's an answer because I can't get this guy to call me back. I want to go through this one guy that leads the program, lease the truck through him. 88% of the week, I'll get back that, that much percent, 88%. I'll make eighteen hundred to twenty five hundred a week, and uh, I'll be hauling them but ATVs and motorcycles. He won't call me back. I keep getting his voicemail, and maybe that's an answer. I'm not, I, I believe it is, but maybe when he calls me back, we'll see. I got one other company I might go with to lease to purchase. There's ten or fifteen of them out there. I can lease to purchase any of them. But you want to get with the right one you can trust that might have the good freight where you can make your money and be home every weekend. And, and uh, it's like, why does this have to happen to me? Why does this? And you're not supposed to question why, but we do. We do question why. But we don't need to. We're not supposed to. But trust and have faith. Faith in God. Watch that movie. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, just a simple request. Um, what is that to you? You must follow me. If I want to remain alive until I return. And the question is, how are you tempted to compare your faith? Walk with others. How will you keep your focus on Jesus today? So there you go. My focus is trying to be more like Jesus. Trying to be more like him. And, and, and uh, we're going to go with 1990 again. Baseball. Um, I don't have much else in I've got I put some stuff on eBay. I'm going to put my eBay in the description. Y'all go look at my eBay. Got some nice cards there for 99 cents all the way up to 35 right now. So, uh, But if he asks you to do something, do it. Obey or you're going to get chastised. If you're saved and you're following God and you're really strict on your cell phone, on staying with God and learning more and more and more and and being more dependent on him than you would yourself or anybody else, you have to do what God asked you to do or you're going to be chastised. Uh, God will do that, and I don't care. That's okay. That's okay. You know? Um, 
I try to talk to people out here, tell them like I do, y'all, God loves you. I'll do it on the CB, God, I'm trash, talk a little bit and stuff, but I say, God loves you, don't forget that. You know, so, if he asks you to walk around 100 miles barefooted, you should try to do it. God comes to you, if God comes to me, put it that way, God comes to me while I'm asleep, wakes me up, and I see him. And he asked me to come or walk for 100 miles barefoot. I'm going to leave everything I got right in there and take my... I'm gone. I'm gone. Believe me, I'm going to go for a walk. My feet may be sore and all by the time it's done, but I'm going for that walk. I'm going to do what he asked me to do because he came to me. He come to you, he came to me. I'm not going to say, why me? Because me, because he's forming me into Jesus. He's forming me into his son. And we're supposed to do what he wants us to do. We got the flare action. We got the Pirates, St. Louis Cardinals, Padres, and Giants. Um, we've got Bob Forrest. We've got Chili Davis. Junior Felix. Boy, I could have a break with all these cards. Tony Phillips. You get everybody to pick their team and then just draw like this and they would get the cards. Five dollars back. That's what Jeff Shaw does. John Crook. He kind of looks like Mark McGuire. Or no, he look, kind of looks like Jose Canseco. Uh, Mookie Wilson. Bobby Vanilla, it's about baseball season. Football's about over with in about another month. Gary Cadetti. I'm out ready for some baseball. I got a, ooh, here's a good one. 1990 Flair All-Star Team, Joe McGrane. Good. Mark Itcherhorn. Jim Gott. He got. Edgar Martinez. Pedro Guerrero. Marty Barrett, Ozzy Gillian. All right. Soon I'm going to open up this with y'all. It's got the Mike Trout on the front. That'll be a good one. Sometimes there's autos in those. Get I hit that Adley Rushman. Might put that on eBay. Then again, I might just keep it. Make me a little tree next year in my new truck. All right, it's Trucker Tim. Y'all remember answer that question if you can. Don't ask. Don't answer the question of why me, why him, why not you. Um, how are you tempted to compare your faith walk with others how will you keep your focus on Jesus today answer that for me God loves you so do I whoop, whoop. let's go trucking get up first so I can eat some dinner and go to bed I've been a little tired and drained lately it's almost time to go home I can't wait like a, I just miss home now. I want to go home. Y'all don't know how it is. Y'all go to work an eight hour day and y'all are home. It's been almost two weeks for me. 
And that's just not part of trucking. It's just I volunteered to make some extra money. And now I miss my grandson. He's wanting to drive his car out, out and around. And Robin don't want to go out there that much. She goes out there with him some, but I can go out there with him a lot. God loves you, so do I. Peace.